and you're the Hello. front runner in this race. Well, we're not taking anything for granted. How are you feeling? We've got a debate tonight with, uh, with ITV. How are you feeling? Have you been practicing? Very well. Um, I'm looking forward very much to, to uh, having a chance to get my messages across. Uh, what we want to do is get Brexit done, October the 31st, unite our country with fantastic infrastructure such as what you're looking at here, uh, Northern Powerhouse Rail, which I, I very much hope I'll be able to uh, support as, as the UK Prime Minister, and getting ready obviously to make our case to the to the people again about our vision for pragmatic conservatism, supporting the free market because that's the way to pay for great infrastructure and public services. Well, we're going to be talking a bit about education funding and what we want to do to level up the spend around the country to make sure that uh, those schools that have been left behind, uh, kids who haven't been getting the right per pupil funding, get an increase in their funding. There's the cash available to do that. We have the fiscal headroom. We won't be putting up taxes uh, to do that. We can actually we can cut some taxes at the same time. Uh, we'll be talking about full fibre broadband for the entire country. Weird that in Spain they have virtually the whole country covered with full fibre. In the UK has only 7%. Uh, so we'll be talking about what we can do to accelerate that program. And everything that we're going to do is going to be based on a very simple proposition that we as, as Conservatives have got to support dynamic enterprise society, support great businesses, encourage UK PLC because that's the way to pay for fantastic infrastructure and healthcare and, and all the rest of it. Just on foreign policy on the US leaks, Donald Trump has tweeted and hit out at the wacky UK ambassador as called Theresa May foolish. What do you make of those comments? Well look, I've, I've got a, a good relationship with the White House and I have no uh, embarrassment in saying that. I think it's very important that we uh, have a strong relationship with our, our most important ally, the United States. Uh, is, has been, will be, for the foreseeable future, our number one uh, political military friend and partner. And uh, we're going to continue uh, to, to stress the vital importance of that relationship, believe me. Is he right to criticise the, the well, current Prime Minister and also the way that the Brexit negotiations have been handled so I, far? Not, look, I, I, I've, I've said, I've myself have said some, some pretty critical things about the Brexit negotiations so far. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I, I, that's, that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm standing tonight and one of the reasons I'm putting myself forward. I think there's a chance to do things differently, a chance to break away from the failed old can-kicking approach. Uh, now's the time to uh, really get a grip on this, stop being so defeatist in our approach to the uh, EU negotiations and, and maybe be a lot more positive about our country and what it can do. And this is an amazing country. Look at this, look at the, the developments that are happening here. They should have happened 10 years ago. This is something that's going to transform the North of England, it's going to bring these cities together. I, I want to get totally behind it and make it happen fast. It's, it's a fantastic thing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just take it away. Just take it away. Okay. A rail. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Manchester by Manchester Airport. Okay.